We are gathered today in unprecedented and uncertain times that call for new ways to congregate around and for community and for art. Here in digital space, we have questioned how to extend acknowledgement and thanks to the lands in which we occupy as we are all dispersed across lands and waters, both familiar and unfamiliar to us, holding space for ourselves, our communities, our kin. By shifting this work from physical to digital space and offering an acknowledgement, we aim to put forth what we know to be true of the lands we stand on and those with which we continue to hold relations rather than claim a wide sweeping all knowing position from which we know we cannot provide. Despite the obstacles of our world right now, there is an immense thankfulness that has presented itself through this undertaking and we are honored to be joined by those who may have been absent if we were meeting in another circumstance. Thank you for being here, for sharing your time and for witnessing with us. We invite you to take a moment now, wherever you are, to recognize whose land and whose waters you are currently occupying. Are these the lands and waters your ancestors held ceremony with? How have you or how will you cultivate relationships with those who are indigenous to these places? Today, while coming together virtually, we acknowledge the lands that hold us. Lands that have sustained ecosystems and complex relationalities far beyond human existence. These lands and waters have braided kinship relations with our four-legged relatives, the swimmers and the winged ones, the insects and the web makers themselves. Our relatives that carry the teachings of living between worlds. The land has nourished and been sustained by plants and medicines, needled and leaved trees, the rain and thunderers, by sun, the four moons and wind. These places within which we gather have been in the care of indigenous peoples from time immemorial. As Baca is situated on and around the unceded land of Jojage Muniang, it is critical that we recognize the many first peoples who consider this place as homeland, traditional territory, birthplace, gathering place, sacred site, and burial grounds of their people. We wish to respectfully acknowledge the lineage of nations who have held relations with Jojage Muniang, the Ganyan Gehaga of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, Huron Wendat, Abenaki, and Anishinaabe. These nations are recognized in reciprocity with the lands and waters. There are no agreements or treaties that were transferred from any indigenous nation to settler ownership or control. The land was and continues to be occupied without permission or consent. And since contact, the dispossession of indigenous peoples and nations from their lands, waters, and sovereignty was committed violently and remains to be the foundation of the state. Positioning ourselves as indigenous resurgent practitioners while in acknowledging our implications within a cultural landscape that is bound to the capitalist market, we maintain a responsibility to form pathways suggestive of alternative ways of coming into being with the making itself. In generating of art worlds, we commit to understanding and considering the fallacies of crown land and the illusion provincial borders compulsory participation in capitalist structures of state sanctioned productivity. The erroneous delineation of reserves that make up an insulting percentage of so-called KK Canada, where few have access to clean drinking water among other basic necessities. Gendered violence and the laws that uphold it. The infectious binary thinking that targets our most sacred teachings carried by two spirit queer and trans knowledge keepers. The overrepresentation of our BIPOC kin, who also are subjected to police brutality, forcibly taken into foster care, and disproportionately and unjustly are incarcerated. The criminalization of land and water protection in support of the ongoingness for generations to come. The derailment of media coverage when apocalyptic viruses become centered over indigenous land sovereignty movements, only further targeting our street involved community members. For those living, for, or those living in on reserves with limited health care. The genocidal crisis of our missing and murdered indigenous women and girls. For generations to come. Two spirit the relatives. The of media coverage when apocalyptic thought viruses become. And the violent dissection of our territories and our bodies into reserve, city, and rural urban dichotomies. The state's abuse of power comes as no surprise. 
continuously understanding the genocidal and ecocidal crisis as an implicit ploy for erasure, assimilation, and eradication of our relatives. At the onset of a virus, the government bodies were able to implement immediate closure of daycare, schools, and cultural museums across this nation state, although after a release of an inquiry considering a century-old genocide of our women, girls, trans, and two-spirit relatives, the man camps remain still. Present day indigenous lived experiences are saturate, saturated with these realities. Far from a disorder, trauma is but a reaction to a world in which our people are routinely threatened, injured, and murdered at the hands of colonial violences, current, ancestral, historical, individual, collective. When the emotional envelope which accompanies and sustains our mind, body, spirits, while in constant duress and attack under settler colonial surveillance and control, in order to survive, we make worlds with kin. Through world making and future imagining, we have developed a reciprocal lexicon, one that allows us to re-envision our realities, our relationships, our ways of seeing and being seen. In this territorial acknowledgement, we are recognizing the bones of the ancestors we walk over, the ancestors who are present with us today and in all of our mobilities and temporalities. We are recognizing the continuous relations to this land held by the Ganyangahaga communities of Ganawage and Ganasatage. We are recognizing our positions as uninvited guests to this territory and how we tend to our responsibilities as the visitors actively and sincerely. We hope we can all recognize the duality in gathering today and in doing this work that it comes both in care of and at the expense of those who are indigenous to these lands to Turtle Island and beyond. We hold obligations as members of nations potentially distant to the land on which we have a Wi-Fi connection to move carefully, intentionally, and generatively. While regionality is a marker for who and how one comes into being, we must acknowledge the forces which have moved us and allowed us to be here to do this work on Jojage, Muniang, uninvited. We aim to tread respectfully across these lands that hold us to cultivate authentic and palpable possibilities for ongoing relations. We are committed to center gratitude, trust, and care in the gatherings that we have been fortunate to facilitate and participate in, it is not without active consultation and guidance with members of communities in which we are, again, privileged to be a part of. Prior to stepping in to the work of curating Baca, our initial breath was grounded by a welcome and support of the faith keepers, Osisa Kenra, Nioren, and Tigodondi of the Longhouse in Ganawage. We were welcome and feasted together. In offering and naming of Becca, the faith keepers guided our hearts and our minds together and laid before us our intentions for the month to come. Gawadzira Daje, Thein Gwarirayena, Degarirayena, Waguje continues to world into being our collective effort of supports. The title carries kinship and holds the meaning of together in circle we are able to lift weight. Soon after we came together again for the stirring of ashes ceremony at the Longhouse, our world was touched devastatingly so by a hungry virus leading us into pockets and pods. During these uncertain times, collective radical care is essential and we are reminded of the medicines of the name Gawadzira Daje brings us today. Otsitsukenra and Yarin gifted us gifted me with the role of awakening the spirit of Yetnikurine, a pathfinder who continuously minds the thinking and carries the teachings of our relative, the wolf. Through temporalities beyond this present continuum, we have all been woven into a work that is collective. One might call on all of these gatherings form themselves, sing acknowledging that the English language holds not a word for ancestor-led. Tender with gratitude, I'd like to thank Otsitsa Garen and Nyaren for a warm welcome of their land and the ongoing support for granting us capacities and synchronicities to do the work we have been called to do in right relations. Grateful to be sharing space with Otsitsa Genra of Bear Clan in Yorin of Wolf Clan, both faith keepers of Ganusesne Longhouse. 
They have a bond of love full of collaboration for a budding 48 years with three ch children and seven grandchildren reaching far into the next generation. Now we'll go on for sharing the medicines of your spirit with us on such a spring day. <laughs> it's my turn. Okay. Uh, well, I to call in your one again. I got the one off. Call it Nagi to Nanichi to Nettak to Nettak when I was such a to knock what to Nettak one. Jinnam hat canoru to know who the Deshugua in a subway at this Ningua one and what not so. Then the name of the Gari were deco de to not cow. Nagi were in a stumagi. I thought that the Nicolai on a dust day. No hot. ね、ジェルジスワヤディスデシワトカワノフジャケ。タナタナチニゴリホトスノオトデシワリワノタ。ね、チュトカイトワテノワラドハゲ。ネギアリホニ。スキッツコレクトトゥドゥオープニングナウ
to know that you got in her talks, or snail you was at Stonsor, and to know the wine you got there with it. Nega Negi gaunt Negi Wahina Giro, and to know that you got what you didn't. She never heard that to net up one in was Sutsor, and then you anyway. Nessie said, Wahine had the Agagani at the world of where one into my daughters. You got not sire. You got going. You got war nigh. You guys and of Niji, I do what I know what I do. Okay. The new hat to Niji to Tuneta. When a Knoska or the shot door, or got to know that under the wire, the Gatawa now Niger Doka. Yahoo on a temp, Ted Tamzaya Guawana. Ted Tamzaya Guarana. Yet Ted didn't do what the other chin to way at daughters, or got to know the wire and to Nikahawi. Next you way you say you got the last we, you say you were hit. Yeah, they go, you got the other, to net cow, to not cow, and you got such. And then you and you are here to know, Negi, to la wear the next way at this, and I can watch the gear, can what, oh no, I can watch the gear, and a hunchaki. A way gonna hold the gun, ha, Negi to the cow, oh no, one is away at this. Talk Nigo got you one nutta, I don't want to watch the go hacker, hagus and agua, and I don't know what I don't hack and I tell you what he has said, no hot and eh, ye what you want to talk. Then then you and each what you are here, when you want to send it to a go on or a wilderness away at this and a guy on that can go quite summa. Nagy what he ne, when you want to send it to a go on. You got the last fear to say, give way ne, the what's on yes ne, I do why okay, Jenny what, Jenny what, Yaku. Then then you and you what he ne, to need you, who's a hug and a go. Et hot cow and a sugar at this one, as in the good at the old Kuma Gakwa Gero. Negate the side of a two kayake, Nego noji to one knocker, Kumunjak. You got the last we a gay gonna hold to you guayo, ne Yukumunjak. A gay gonna hold the chin the way and a gun of cess. A gay gonna take what the number others, Negakwa. Tis the Gayata Gakwaya and the gay Yaki gone tied to one knocker hake. Antonius Nore Aitoahe. Then an end you and the awareness of way at this and a Ganakayan Take. Then the Wahine Namahat Ganakaku, Aitoahnegira, then Ayakia, Take, Nayakia, Dahni Hate. I won't guess in a watch in a hole that they could have won you. Nego to Sumo, Jinua Suanya, the Gus. Then you and you're not the way to hatch it. Just cook away, say, give way to no runes. Ayahuaski Wahine. The Saki Saji Tahut Tahunata Joe, Naked in your origia. Nya de go on an air to know here your watches, Nego, Nayo Duxon. The Saki Hotinoak, the Sochi. On an end you and you wait to know, and I got the one I heard that you know Nek Chikarunda, Chikar Kaguira Gare, Ganuta Gare. Nan you and you wait in a quack or no Chokiro de Ganuta Gare, not states. Nagi Wahine. You got the last weird to say you queer with it. Say I to what granny, nay I to what cup, the chinica queerios. Then a naggy wahine, or not that woman at Guaguan. Don't know what he ne, ne no wahine, a girone. What a net for Guan, a chinaqua, the neco of Willis Summer. Carhocon Sanaguaco did duck in the gestures. Naggy way good deal, chat the guy would duck. Then a nag knew any wahine a girl. Ne Oscar no to net Guacuan. Ne a gay gunette, they eat in the water to Jim Wak to no hot and walk dog and not to no hot jog and a water good away. Say you care to get matches. On a new I got to go and a gonna go to what the Nujista duce. To know that it's a nutty, Ojito, Puma, Gonigajitans Razas, Tanagajitans Rowanus. Nagi Agirune, say you got the last wheel, Nagi way at the Wawarat's hurry. Then the Nagi or Rowdy stores, the Rowdy Nas ne what the ne I do one yahise, Rowdy Goya Yukia the gay. Then the good dear own of the Jut Kutako, Nega Gwenyas, Nesco, and I do one of the new hake. Then the Nenny you and you're aware in a sugar at this, ne Enneganagua, ne Gawera, and the Ganegay in a Gawerake. Nagi why he ne Nagi why he ne ya degree and a dirty hunt, or Jacket or a Toreg and a Guani Jawet, and they were a wister. O jake wahi o jake ku o chenu ne yu ora tari ha. Tanu ne chenu ne wahi ne na ku tanu chenu ni yata wa chutu ne chenu ni chawek ha. Ne ki na ki ru ne 
of Nekanus, Nea Yuki, then I to a I to a gonna rehake. Then a new and you were hine, to no Nenakato when I era that to no new Nigadia to look with his or to Guma, Nera de Wera, say to put up your kinatar and always than your kia taken no hatches. Then a new and you taken it your your rock with a yachitawa cheer to squat tear to no one in one new one is a rake. Your ways and arrow tell your heart and no dark. Then a new and your pisota, a asa tonk and eka garaka, a jut good up for ne say, you kia to get no hajes, neggy where you got the last wheel at the Nagaruches, a dick salt boom. Watching you or it you, you just stop what on your enigan, what you got in the gist to touch it. Yet in the word out of Aquego, she say, give away in a rodeo, that is just good up for say you kia to get no hajes. Then the watching you or in a gayer in your way to get you to put up when you can have to chess of where whom we go not yet what a boy. Or Jagger Wahine to go hoot again. Nay, you got Taharak or Nets and a guard in the garden, you go leave, and you keep Hahara. Then the owner now or Nago watching the ordinary Sugway at this. Neta in the world at Duchy. Nagy way owner, Nagy way. She a quay when I was to get in act to Tasha when I want his art. Nagy way say I don't want to say school and I don't want to know. One give away in a quagre to cut it, a gary one who took no water so so I o touches. Nagy wahine and a hidi what neg on a sugar at this. Nagy wahine on ta cower. Nana wahine I was such tossler. Nay a gray go genitu, a quahue net you know, doske you stage it, you know who the neg and walk touch the ewe. Then I'm gagwaini so a jaders, Nagy wahine, and the gagasera negare. A way guard hole again, Guacaracuso. A hilly white neck on the sugway at this and a tap tower. I was such stonsery as a way go and harake one year. The Wagaracuso Nagua, ne as a Wagari Wake. And the Nezawang Tagunso is what you sagunso. Ne air again, I took a ten and a whole duke stage of Garo to get to know. Then yet the waters as what tuned and a ten. Yet the waters at this over at the hunter. A hilly white neck was away at this. Ne a great a tado tar hosro, eram zaha hawite, no hot as a wax stetch, ne own as a wat tune than a good dear no duje, o jito kuma than a geniorote. One and any you and you wahi watch in your a gilune. There's one dog. Now he did want neg on a sugar at this. Now you are neg on the neggy wine a gahnegi. Then the neggy wahine, axcanoare hake, ye guanya zoanya zakuso. Adam Saka how it in a ho the New York stage. Then the owner and a scorner owner as one of the new sick. On a get on eyes what you gonna do. So what I tried to do in a short way, and I always tried, I rushed it a little bit. But it's important for us, for amongst our people, and I'm sure amongst all of our native relations all across the country, that the raising of tobacco, the raising of our words to creator and creation is the most important thing in this world. And when, when I started, I said at the beginning of the world, the creator, he began his work and he made all of living things on this earth the way it is to be. And he molded them into a way, a relationship where they all work together in this thing, what we call the cycle of life. And when all things were there and all things were made, then he took a step back and he looked around this world. And then there came a time when he said, I haven't finished my work. And he went to the river and he took with him, he kneeled by the edge of that river and he took the living earth from the, from the river bank, the clay, and he molded a human being. And he, and he molded him in the image that he saw in the reflection of, the, of his reflection in the water. And when he, when he did that, now he took his mind and he gave that first human being his mind. That's our ancestors. And he gave us his breath, his fire from his, and it still burns in our blood today. He gave us his three breaths and we began to breathe. And we still breathe today in this world. And that means breathing and air is life. And so then when the first human being, he did those three things, human beings now came to life. And then he made a woman 
We made female life and he made them work together. And he says now, now he did the same with her. He gave them his mind, his breath and his fire. And he said, now you work together. And as you walk on this world, now it says in your footprints of your passing on the earth, you will drop your seeds and human beings will begin to populate the world. And so that is the way it was. But the creator gave us the same instructions. He said, this earth, he raised to pick up the earth. He said, this earth is your mother. Always respect her and take care of her. She will nurture you. She will love you. She will take care of you. And that, that's the original instructions. That's the only, one of the most, the only things that we as Okwehungwe native people need to remember and understand. That's why we have, we give thanks. We may give thanks in a drum, in a song. We may give thanks in burning of tobacco or in a pipe ceremony. We may give thanks in a sweat lodge, in many different kinds of things. But the most important thing is that we understand our relationship in this world and we give thanks because we're alive. And so now we turn our minds to, to our mother, the earth. And we, as one mind, we give her, we give her our greetings and we thank her for the work that she con continues to do and life continues in this world. And, and that's, if that's the most important thing I think we need to say, because we know we're living in a time now because of the, the things that we human beings are doing on the earth. Our mother is suffering and our mother is hurting. Our mother is feverish, our mother is shaking and she is feeling so heavy. And we need, and, and it's a very important that she needs to hear our songs and our words. She needs to feel that somebody still cares for her. And so I encourage all Native people not to forget your songs, not to forget your words, not to forget to give thanks. And, in, and, and so it's important that even to the point where, how do we do that now? You know, we have our language. The creator gave us a language and he made us who we are. We should never forget our tongue and who we are. And we should always conduct our ways. I know there are many different ways that were brought over the great water, the ocean. And they confused our minds in a lot of ways. But we should never forget what our ancestors believe in, believed in and we still believe in. And that is the what, we, that's what the creator made us to be. And so we turn our minds to this beautiful, beautiful dress that our mother, the earth wears, just like women in any smoke house or any long house are wearing a dress. And that's symbolic of this dress that the earth wears, all of the grass life, the green grass, all the different families of grasses. And they all have responsibilities and they do so much things for us, their food, their medicines, just to look out as far as you can see in the field. It's beautiful and it picks up your hearts. And it woven into, the, into that dress is the, is the root life. And everything that lives in this world draws its energy through its roots. Even the great, there's a great big white ash tree sitting right outside my window here. And that, wind, that ash tree, if its roots are weak, that ash tree will die. And so it's, that's the same way with us as Ukwehungwe people, as native people. Our roots is our lineage, what our ancestors believed in, what our grandpa and our grandmother used to speak, the language they spoke, the things that they talked about, the people who do the sun dance, the people who hunt and give thanks as they hunt, all the things they believed in. This is what makes us who we are. We should never throw those to the side. We should always value what the creator made us to be. And I kind of believe and I tell people that the creator made us as Okwehungwe people, whether we're Anishinaabe, Cree, Moab, or all the other nations. He made us, he gave us the most beautiful gift to make us who we are. He, he, he did the best that he could to make us who we are. And here we are now. We should never ever say to the creator, I wanna be somebody else. And we said to the creator, you didn't do a good job when you made us. And we should always strive to be proud of who we are. 
And so now we turn our minds to all of the different strawberries and the very life. The strawberry is the leader of all berries that live on this world. And still in Moha, if you come to Moha ceremonies, you're going to always drink strawberry drink because it's so special. Even when we have a strawberry dance, we sing creator song. The only song we sing for strawberry dance is creator song. That's the highest honor for the highest berry fruit that, that lives on this world. And so we turn our, give our thanks to the berries that continue to grow. We turn our minds to the food life, the corn, beans, squash, and all the foods that grow. But the, the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash, is the leaders of all of all foods that grow on this world, in our world. And we thank them because we understand that if there is no food, then there is no life. And it's so important for us that we always continue to put our hands in the soil, grow the food and give thanks. They need to hear us that we appreciate the food life. And then we turn our minds to the waters of life. And we understand without water that nothing in this world can survive and live without water. And we understand that, that we have a responsibility to always appreciate the water that, that we have and that, grow, that flows on the land. And we give thanks to that. And we always encourage the water to always remain pure for us to keep us strong. And in the waters are all the bug life and all the, the fish life. Even that great otter swims at the edge of the river. And we think that he's just a fooling around all the time. But that otter has great medicine. He cares for the people. So we acknowledge all the animals of the, of the water world too. And we give them our greens because they all have responsibility. We, then they still continue to live. Now we turn to the trees, the smallest red willow, the red willow medicine that we use to cleanse our bodies. And we used right to the biggest tree, the maple tree, the leader of all tree life in this world. I just finished putting all my pots away that I collected sap and I boiled it and I made maple syrup because it's special. It's, a, it's, it's our medicine. And those trees need to hear us and feel us that we still appreciate what they give. And at the end of collection, then we said, and we made the syrup, we say thank you to the tree life because you gave us food. And so now we, we give, we turn our minds as one mind and all of the things that I just talked about, the things of the earth, I, we turn our minds and we give them greetings as one mind because life continues and we still exist in this land. We still are alive. We thank them for their, for, for helping us. Now we turn our minds skywards. We look at the, we see that the the birds fly above our heads, all the different kinds of birds. We see now the geese are flying in the big Vs all around the land. They're giving us their, their meat and their oil and they give us their feathers, all different things. The smaller birds, they're always hang around us and they carry great songs. They spread around the seeds all over the land and the earth. So the land is always being changing and always cultivating. We acknowledge the birds. And what they say is when there is such great sorrow on this world, when there is sorrow maybe from death, too much death. And sometimes when people think that life is so heavy that they can't continue, they say go out at the, day, the break of dawn and then the birds will give you the message. And when you go out at the break of the first light of dawn, every bird that lives will sing and they give thanks for another day of life. That's the message that we should carry. That's the wine that we should have. We should give thanks for every day that we live. It's the creator that allows us to live. And we acknowledge we should give us a thanks. Only the creator can tell us when it's our time to leave. And so we turn our minds also to what we call the, the, the two sons, our older brother, the sun. He warms up the world and he warms up the, the earth. And we turn our minds to our grandmother, the moon, who works and helps the people in the nighttime. And she's the one that can, that works with the, when a, a baby can be conceived and can be born and, and the corn and the, and the food will grow. And our grandmother, she helps us in all so many different ways. So we give her our greetings at this time. And then we look now to the winds, the four winds. 
from the four directions. The north wind brings the cold, the south brings the warm, the east and the west bring the rains. And in the west wind now, pretty soon again, we're gonna get a visit from our grandfather, the thunders. And they're the ones that will bring the rain and they will watch over our lands. And even, even amongst our people, what we believe is when we hear the thunder, we should go outside our door and we should offer some tobacco and say, thank you grandfathers for visiting us. Take care of us, watch over us. Those big winds that go around in a circle and tear up the land, watch over our people so our people will not be harmed. Take care of our children and the thunder beings. They will listen to us. We should never forget them. And so we turn our minds also now to, to what we call the, the stars, the star beings, all the different kinds of lights that live that are above our heads. Our ancestors used to live their lives by them. Nowadays, we're kind of a little too busy. But still, we know that if, if you're feeling very low, just go outside. Take your mind and look your eyes up in the air and look at the beauty of the sky world. It will be enough to pick up your hearts. And so now we turn. Sun and moon. Oh, the, I did. Yeah, I did to the sun and moon. But now we turn and we go right to the the four sacred messages. And at the beginning of the world, we were given original instructions. And always native people, we have a, we have kind of a, we're like, we're sitting, the kids in the classroom, they're sitting at the back of the class. And when the teacher's talking, they're looking somewhere else and they're not paying attention. Their mind is somewhere else. And we're like that. The creator gave us these instructions to always give thanks to always care for our mother. And today we're too busy for that. Oh, I got important work to do. Oh, I gotta go to this show over here. Oh, I gotta do something else. And when do we ever make time for our mother to give thanks or for ceremonies? We got it all wrong. Those should be first. And so a lot of times our people, we forgot all of our original teachings. And those messengers, they came and they were born as young boys sometimes in different ways. And they came and they reminded us about our path, about how we should live on this world. We forgot to give thanks and they brought us the four sacred ceremonies. We forgot to, to value life and we were people of war and they brought us the great law of peace. And many different ways, we kind of got confused with the coming of the people from across the ocean and we threw our ways on the side and we picked up the bottle and the Dagat Nigura Denj, the mind changers and all the things that come with that. And so there was another man that had, that had visions and he reminded us that we should put those things aside. We should go back to our ceremonies. And that's what keeps us alive today. And so we give our greetings now to the creator because the creator has allowed us even to be able to understand this box in front of me, this computer, so that we can talk to each other from all different directions, from all these miles, and our words can still be carried and touch each other's hearts. So I thank the Creator for allowing us this time together. And so I ask the Creator now to use His energy. And now we open this energy, we open this meeting of minds from all different directions to use His energy to, to bring to you the, the best minds that you can carry. We ask the creator, we live in a time of great sorrow. We live in a time where we call everybody's closed in their homes now. We can't be like it was even a few months ago. We have lost loved ones. We're always afraid for life. This disease, this virus that has come. And we ask the creator now where our, sometimes our mind, our eyes are blocked up with tears so that we can't see clearly. And so we ask the creator to help us to wipe away the tears from our eyes so that we can see clearly again what we need to do to take care of our children and our families. When the heaviness is striking our people, our ears block up with the heaviness of sorrow and our sinuses block up with the sorrow and so we can't breathe the air and we can't hear each other in a good good way 
So we ask the creator also to take a beautiful feather and wipe our ears and our sinuses so we can hear the birds sing again and the wind blow. We can each hear each other and understand a better way that we can work together. And then when there is great sorrow that comes into our world, it sits in our throat here and it blocks our throat. It's like sorrow. It's the feelings the same as the feelings we get when we say our, our respects to someone has, of our family who has just passed away and our throat is so blocked and right away we can't speak, we can't talk. I ask the creator to offer each and every one of you the spirit water. So that will wash away your, the lump in your throat and go right into your chest to open, to take away the sorrow that sits in your chest the burning that sits in your chest now that you can feel at peace. And so these are some of the words that I have to offer you at this time. And so with that, we open your gathering. And one thing I wanted to, I, to say too is, uh, you know, uh, we live in a time where we're, we're, we're sitting under this great shadow and great cloud of COVID, this virus that covers the earth. And I think I've been thinking about that too, you know, and, uh, and I believe that this earth, our mother, the earth is really, really suffering. Our mother is hurting so much. She's in such pain and such sorrow. And a lot of times she has to defend herself. And I think sometimes these viruses and things that come, that's a way to cleanse herself of the disease that is making her sick. And maybe it is us as human beings. Maybe we have grown too plentiful. Maybe we have forgotten our responsibilities. And maybe this virus is a way of reminding us to step back and find out what's more important. What's the most important thing, a dollar bill or life? What's more important? A machine or our mother. And maybe she's reminding us, because I see on TV sometimes too, that in this time when everything has shut down, they, they say even in over these countries that are so full of pollution, that the pollution has gone away. Maybe, and even you can hear the birds singing again and you don't see all the airplanes flying above our heads. You don't see all the traffic and the smog has cleared. Maybe this is a moment when she is taking a fresh breath of air and trying to regain some of her strength. But we need to understand, maybe that's a message to us. As human beings, as Okwehunwe, as native people, we have responsibility to our mother, the earth. The creator gave, made us special to be who we are. He made us responsible for our our part in the cycle of life that we can't stop our ceremonies we can't stop giving the thanks that we need maybe our mother needs to smell our tobacco again maybe our our mother here needs to hear us sing again and give thanks to her again and so with those words i guess i will off i hope that you will have the best meeting that you can have and i hope that the words that we have shared have helped you in that regard. So thank you for listening to us. My name is Neo Yero. Um, what he began with was um, greetings to the, to the people. Usually that's the way you start because it's the people that you are with that you want them to hear what you have to say. And he's greeting all the people of the world because that's the way the creator fixed it. He didn't just put Gwehumwe here, and this is not just a responsibility for Gwehumwe people to follow. Each people of the world, each nation of the world, each, each of us that come from different directions has a responsibility and a gift. And our job is to work together. I think pretty much the creator is waiting for that to happen because the world will be right when we learn how to work together to make things better and to watch out for the future generations. Stop thinking about ourselves. 
start thinking about the future for the little ones. What's going to be here for them unless we make a difference? You know. That's all the sugar that we got. Thank you for listening. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Sorry about the technical difficulties, everybody. Tanji, hello, bonjour. I'm David Garneau, curator of Gawatsir Daje. Elder Odziza Kunra and faith keeper Nino Ye Ranen. I'm really sorry if I got that wrong. <laughs> Thank you for your welcome and guidance. Uh, we are grateful guests. Uh, welcome everybody to the Contemporary Native Art Biennale, also known as BACA 2020 and Gawatsir Radaje. Well, call us short-sighted, but six months ago, we, the BACA team, did not consider a plan B a backup strategy if, say, microscopic invaders closed the world. Who back then could have known that a pandemic would stall most of the exhibits, physical artworks in transit, that the galleries would shutter and everyone would be either at home or on the front lines? I trust you're healthy and coping, not too worry, worried or weary. We're grateful you could join us, grateful too to all of those providing essential services that keep us from harm, keep us fed, cared for and comforted. Well, here we are, that is, there you are, wherever you are. I'm here in Oskana, in Regina, Saskatchewan, wishing we could all be together physically in Montreal to open up Gawatsir Radage. In the meantime, let me tell you a little bit about the curatorial concepts guiding the exhibition. The fourth edition of the Contemporary Native Art Biennale, curated by Nikki Little and Becca Taylor two years ago, explored relations between Indigenous women that extended beyond blood. The fifth edition continues to be this thread. My curatorial concept was kinship, interrelational, intergenerational relations, women aligning with female ancestors, and especially connections with other than human beings, but also folks who are looking for home in territories not home to their ancestors, friendships and mentor and mentee affiliations, among other interrelations. Well, I was honored to take up this challenge to curate this exhibition. I knew from the start that because I live in Regina and in English, I would need support in Montreal. Friends there, including Nadia Mir, introduced me to Faye Mullen, who in turn engaged Rudy Acker, who you heard, met earlier and you'll see again. Together along with project director, Mike Patton, coordinator, Christine Dufour, BACA president and founder, Riel Lanthier and our partner galleries. We assembled a series of exhibition and events surveying contemporary indigenous art across Northern Turtle Island with a few coming from the United States and from Germany and from Sami territory. Recognizing that these exhibitions take place on the traditional and unceded territory of the Gane Gehaga and that Faye, Rudy and I and many of the artists are not from that territory, we sought counsel with its stewards. We and the BACA board met with elders and artists from the Ganawaga Longhouse to initiate an alliance. In subsequent meeting with our elders, uh, um, they entrusted us with our title. The words picture a continuous circle being held together hand in hand, nation to nation, lifting weight together. These Ganagehaga words carry the values of sustained kinship, of continuously holding matter together. And these uh, phrases, these sentences were um, Faye who collected this, this honor um, transmitted uh, to me. So BACA 2020 endeavors to give material form to these words, to express the interconnectedness of all things, while acknowledging that sustaining good relations is a weighty matter. It's a matter of will, love, kinship, and friendship. An important aspect of maintaining good relations is reciprocity. So we came to the community to ask not only for their blessings and ask them to open uh, the exhibition, um, but we, we, uh, we tried to give some things in return. So BACA offered to provide, provide transport for community members who wanted to visit the exhibitions and we commissioned Ganawage beaters to create gifts for the artists. At the Longhouse, we connected with artists and we were lucky to find uh, so many artists there and uh, we have two in the exhibition. Um, but we wondered if there was something else they needed that we might be able to provide. 
And folks lamented to Faye that um, some of the animal dressing skills had been lost and could we arrange for the work for a workshop. And Faye is working with one of our artists, Hunter Casaganet, to bring this to the community. And it might be virtually or if we're lucky and things open up later, it'll be in, in real life. So kinship is not just a subject of Ganawatsu, Ganawatsu Radage, it also informs our curatorial method. In addition to choosing fine works of art and placing them in good relations with each other, we also asked many of the senior artists to invite kin to exhibit with them. So these may be family, community members, mentees, or other kindred folks. The redistribution of curatorial agency is a form of non-colonial practice. And like a ceremony or a party where invited guests invite their own guests, we wanted to expand the circle to include relations we didn't yet know. As a result, the exhibition includes a few artists who had never shown their work in Quebec or outside their community or in an art gallery. Gawatsira Daje includes a full range of art media. There's drawing and painting, ceramics, sculpture, photography, audio installations, video, digital media performances, but there's an em emphasis on beading and textiles. A substantial aspect of the Indigenous Renaissance is the resurgence of traditional art forms uh, repurposed to include engagement with contemporary experience. Beading is accessible. You don't need an MFA to pick up the skills and to make something special, though I can tell you firsthand that having a mentor helps. Beading is a metissage, a mixing of materials and influences, making by hand using traditional techniques, learning from watching and doing creates a haptic connection with previous generations. And uh, we hope to have uh, some beading um, workshops or parties as part of uh, our programming. So Gawatsi Radage has lots of rooms filled with beautiful and interesting things. Well, eventually, hopefully, but right from the start, we focused on relations beyond things. We planned events, music, performance art, workshops, talks and panels, circles and other gatherings in and around the exhibitions. I'm happy to tell you that many of these events will happen though online. Uh, and we invite you to follow us on social media and enjoy us, join us in these virtual gatherings. Please also enjoy the artworks and artist videos on our sites. New projects we, will be launched, launched throughout the run of uh, BACA 2020, Gawad Siridaje. Thank you very much and uh, stay safe. Bonjour. Bonjour à tous. J'aimerais vous souhaiter la bienvenue dans cet univers sans frontières où justement les frontières disparaissent et on peut se rapprocher d'une façon différente. C'est notre cinquième édition à la DACA et c'est vraiment au nom du conseil d'administration que je vous souhaite. Euh, J'aimerais remercier justement tous les membres, Euroma, Awashish, euh, Miriam Snow, Nadia Mir, Nick Ottawa, Nick William, François et moi-même euh, pour ce travail euh, pour pouvoir mettre en place cette cinquième édition. On est euh, Joe Dake, qui est euh, synonyme de Montréal en moi, qui signifie lieu de rencontre, lieu de rassemblement. Et la BACA euh, a l'occasion de renforcer et de contribuer à ce rôle social et culturel que euh, Giodaki joue dans le rôle des communautés euh, depuis des décennies. Euh, alors, c'est vraiment une opportunité pour nous. J'aimerais aussi remercier euh, le commissaire David Carman, Faye Mullen, et, et Rudy Hacker de, du travail formidable qu'ils ont réalisé. C'est sûr qu'un projet comme celui-là n'aurait pas été possible sans la cinquantaine d'artistes qui, qui participent et qui vont y participer au Fonds d'initiative de, ré, de rayonnement de la métropole, au Conseil des arts et des lettres du Québec, au Conseil des arts de Montréal, au secrétariat aux affaires autochtones du Québec et à Tourisme Montréal pour avoir cru dans le projet et avoir décidé de soutenir 
il y a eu aussi, aussi beaucoup d'autres personnes qui ont soutenu par des dons, par leurs actions, leur projet. Et c'est vraiment pour cela que ce projet a pu euh, voir le jour. Alors, euh, c'est sûr que nous avons un défi et nous vivons une période difficile, celle de la pandémie. Et nous, nous avons une chose de très importante, c'est la créativité. Et grâce à cette créativité-là, on est capable de continuer à, à créer des rencontres, à créer des liens, à échanger, à s'éduquer. Alors, vraiment, euh, la vacance, c'est cette opportunité-là. C'est sûr que c'est notre première édition virtuelle. Euh, mais euh, bientôt, les lieux ouvriront, nous l'espérons. Et vous aurez l'occasion de pouvoir visiter à la Guilde, chez euh, la Galerie de Pierre françois Bellet, la Galerie Stuart Hall, le Musée des Cordes, euh, la Maison des Régions, la Galerie Armu, les expositions. Sinon, beaucoup d'informations et euh, des visites virtuelles seront organisées des différents lieux afin que vous puissiez découvrir la totalité de ce projet qui est exceptionnel. Alors, la soirée va se poursuivre. Il y aura de la musique, il y aura euh, la présentation des artistes. Alors, demeurez avec nous. Euh, je passe la parole, euh, je crois, à Fée. Bonne journée. Et merci d'être avec nous. Oui, merci. Merci, Ryan. Anine, Wana, Gaga, 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 Chuchage Nunyan in the Besho, Yet Nakurne, Oshkabewes, Medewen, Nizen, Ojichak, Two Spirited, They, Them, She, Her, Gawen, Mashi, Ningi, Nigen, Nimashi, Nidoden, Fay Malin, Indigenagaz, which you may present Fay Malin. Gwen, Lily was Rudy, was the Gwayano, Gajayo, Sugamawi, Maliguk, Sedansis, Kwui, Eli Bajuyayan. Hi, my name is Rudy. I'm a Wistagwe from St. Mary's First Nation in Fredericton, New Brunswick, which is unceded Wistagwe territory. Thank you for being with us tonight. I am first and foremost an auntie committed to my responsibility to care for my kin and those who I am in relation with. I'm an artist, organizer, and curator, and I'm very grateful for this opportunity to share and be together in these new ways. Over the last few months, I have been so fortunate to cultivate a very warm, generous, and truly transformative relationship with Faye that has allowed us to hold each other in care and in kindness to shoulder the work of community programming. The complete program will be unveiled in the coming weeks, and until then, we would like to share an excerpt from our curatorial text that we feel exhibits how we've cultivated our methodologies and priorities into uh, curatorial practice, community building and kinship. In this time, our time, we have witnessed great mobilization, growth from seed that has been taking place in cyberspace, woven together by hashtags, finding budding kinships over image-based stories that disappear post-tap. We acknowledge that physical coming together despite the threat of cross-contamination is grounds for true research and practices rooted in radical care. We are witnessing this spring the effects that containers of the isolation have in exacerbating our levels of loneliness and withdrawal. Loving in Indian time has never been about pacing nor containing. Elixir of excuses and toxins of measurement, Indian time does not take for granted the ongoingness of the other. A resilience and continued existence under, under the pressure of genocide, ecocide, and suicidal ideation leaves us, leaves us feeling a speed at the heart of loving as if we need to love hard and fast before one of us disappears. Risking a compression into something too solid, whereas our beings, infinite as they are, stretch far beyond our skinned mass. This rabbit speed at which we are made to love each other is not akin with privilege. There is a desire to 
to deserve the endless time that we crave to love each other over. 2S for 2S love particularly has carved out space for us to weave these threads. The ties that lift to, hold lovely, to love wholly and fully, a love with honor at its core, a love that encourages a return to relational multiplicity, a love that co-constitutes our existence, a love enacted across constellations, a love in action through currents, love as ceremony. When we whirled into realities, islands of decolonial love, we not only survive, we transcend and so to transmute. NDN love works at light speed, crossing generations, lifting epigenetic coding and reigniting the fire from the coals our ancestors protected. To consider, in, to consider kinship in regards to curial practice is to consider a deep sense of care and accountability. We must engage these responsibilities to assert mechanisms of support, of truths, of transformability with and for those whom we hold most dear, those who have come before and those who are yet to come. We cannot center kinship as a thematic without the work of so many, the artists and the writers, the theorists and practitioners, the aunties and the uncles, the elders and the young ones. We are able to center kinship in our work on grounds of resilience of the medicines of our two-spirit indigiqueer warrior kin existing in the margins and carrying the teachings outside the logic of containment. As we move through the lineages of kinships, we recover a basketry that is rooted in love love as a permutable force that guides us into our pasts, presents, and futures. Love is, at once, ancient and blossoming, in which our kin, known and unknown, are shaping into endless, life-giving, affirming knowledges that preserve us. We braid work in so to con continue to believe there is life after Indian love. The sinew nature of this work collapses notions of property. We fold individual success into collective abundance. We hold in high regard these opportunities entrusted to us by elders and kin in form and function. This work is for us. Us, a togetherness larger than nationhood and community ties, a togetherness through root systems and networks of love as indigenous peoples, participating here as members of larger diasporas and existing at various intersections. We are not making claims to be in positions of knowing, rather hoping to extend both proverbial and physical, physical hands in trust. Our relations and our ancestors have led us to this place through a multiple multitude of paths. And while we are here, we hope to see and be seen, to carry one another in accountability to equitably honor loss and gain, and to find comfort in knowing that is, it is un unimaginable to shoulder this work and this world alone. May we take a moment to collectively lift our hearts to the memory of and the safe journey into the spirit world of Melvin Diablo, a language keeper and a warrior of gentle ways who crossed over just a few days ago. Melvin had supported Baca, translating our words into Ginyakaha, bridging and linking pathways of communication. We are grateful to have shared time with you in this, your earth walk. Your medicines are deeply honored. The body of this work could not have been imagined or activated without the precedence and guidance of our kin in thought, theory, and spirit. Expressions of gratitude to each of the artists, makers, beaters, resurgent practitioners who whirled into being our contemporary cultural fabric. Grateful to everyone involved in the ground laying and in the making, Miao and Koa, Ozitsa Genra, and Nioren of the Mohawk Trail Longhouse in Ganawage. Miigwech to our families, both chosen and blood. Miigwech to mom, who will live on through generations. May our webbed relations weave into futurities grounded in the pacing and healing we've witnessed over the past few weeks when the world commanded us to pause. Resilience through breath.
Thank you to Sage Paul. This bust of flesh is so, so powerful. And we Lalan to dear, dear kin, queer, multidisciplinary artist from the forest, Moon Moon, for being here with us tonight. So grateful to continue witnessing the rhythms of you.